Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial video. In this video I will teach you some tips and tricks that you can use for your own digital art as well as witness how I from beginning to end how I create a portrait. Hope you get to learn and enjoy this video. Now let's get started. Hi everyone my name is Carlos and I will be teaching you today. For this video we are going to paint this lovely lady and I will teach you in this segment how to paint skin using Clip Studio. I drew this picture based on a fashion photo I found online and I will be taking some liberties along the way with the coloring. As you can see I already painted the background and usually the background is the last thing you should worry about but to avoid having a white background staring you at the face all the time while you work you can set up a layer underneath the line art with a darker shade it will make it easier to work with lighter colors and and it will make it easier on your eyes however to create a good background and to add mood to your illustration you can always sketch how the background will look before applying any color this will give you a good idea of your end goal for the illustration once we set up the layer for the skin we'll fill it with a base color in my personal opinion painting skin is one of the most challenging aspects in digital art it's so easy to mess it up and end up with something that looks rather strange on the screen. But even if that is your intent, you must be mindful of the light source and shadows. Once we fill the skin layer with the base color, we'll start to paint in the shadows using a darker shade. Make sure the shade you're using is not too dark or it will throw off the balance of your illustration. Don't be afraid to experiment with your shadows. And remember, Ctrl C is your friend. Don't worry about how it looks at first, because it will look very rough. But as you blend in more colors, it will start to look nicer. Also, you have to be careful about using pure white, as it, this will also throw off the balance of your illustration. But how do you blend the colors? Well. Clip Studio has a, lot of, has a lot of options to create your own blend tools, from texture opacity to the amount of paint in the brush, allowing you to experiment and find your own style and something that suits your needs. Here is where you take full advantage of the pressure settings of your tablet. Continue to blend the colors until you are satisfied with the result you see on screen. Here for the lips, I used a very dark shade of red and you work upwards to lighter shades of pink and red for the highlights. Continue to blend until you're satisfied with the result. For the eyes, I used a light gray color as a base and mixed it with some blue hues and blended them together. For her makeup above the eyes, I used lighter shades of blue. Once you're satisfied with both eyes and lips, what I've done next here is that I use darker shades of red and brown for the shadows. As you can see, I'm not using very, very dark colors for this illustration, at least not for the skin. The eyebrows on the model were not entirely black, but a mixture of lighter and darker shades of brown so I blended them together. We are now finished with the skin. Leave it be for a while and return to it. Analyze if you can add or remove colors. Remove shadows or, uh, or add some more in areas where you think they are necessary. Pay, pay close attention to your thumbnail on the upper right side of the screen. If it looks good, you're on the right path. If not, you might need to modify the skin a little bit more. Remember to have patience since at first it would not turn out as you want it to look, especially if you're just starting. But remember that practice in art does make perfect. And now we move on to the next part, the hair. Alright, um, 
this is it for this video and i hope you like it and stay tuned for part two make sure to follow me on my social media and subscribe see you all soon